Now that we have this set of ratios, we take the smallest one. The smallest one is 0 0.368. We multiply the smallest ratio by the amount of work off times 400. Point three six eight times four hundred. Oops. Equals one hundred forty seven point two pounds. There you have it. We can use one hundred forty seven point two pounds of this, and the balance is going to be some combination of that. All right. Now that's cool, right? Now here's where it gets cooler. Now we're going to see, when we use 147.2 pounds of that stuff, how much of each of the base colors are we adding, so then we can figure out what do we need to add to 147.2 pounds to get the color we're after. We're almost there, folks. All right? All right. So now that we decided the amount we can use is 147.2 pounds, let's plug that in over here yet again. Okay? Warm, Rubin, Reflex, 0 0.680, 0 0.226, 0 0.094. All right, now what we're going to do is 147.2 times each of the ratio gives us the amounts of each base in there. If you take some of these calculators, 142.2 times times. Now anything I enter in there will multiply by point. 6, 8 equals 100.0, and if we went 9, 6, you see that's even negligible, so that's the right number. So uh, 0.226 equals, let's see, 147.2 times 0.226 equals 33.3 pounds, and 147.2 times... 0 0.094 equals 13.8 pounds, roughly, okay? Now, there's sometimes little decimal errors and stuff, because when you manipulate numbers back and forth and back and forth here, and you're rounding decimals and stuff, you may be a decimal place off or so, okay? Um, for example, right here, we've got 100... Well, it was a 100.1, right? Yeah, so 100.1 is actually where that would have been there. 100.1 of that. Now, 100. We're going to have to negate it, all right? 100 pounds. <clears throat> so now, here are the contributions of 147.2 pounds, 100, of this work-off ink going up here. So in this scenario... This is 147.2 pounds, or 147 pounds, and we didn't have to do that. We could have done 147.2 pounds, right? So now, at 147.2 pounds, this is the amount we're contributing to each one. So now when we come over here, we can say, okay, of warm red, I need 100. I'm... I have 100 here, so 100 minus 100 equals 0. I need to add no warm red. I need 60, Rubin. I need 60 minus 33.3 here equals 26.7. So to that 147.2 pounds of this, I need to add 26.7 pounds of Rubin red. And then finally, of the reflex blue, I need 40 pounds. I have 13.8 in the work off. 40 minus 13.8 equals 26.2 pounds. And there it is. We need to take 147.2 pounds of the work off 
and just add 26.7 pounds of Rubin, 26.2 pounds of Reflex Blue, and we get to use 147 pounds of that stuff. Now that's cool. All right, so we covered a lot of stuff here, and um, uh, we're going to cover a few more things. Now we're going to talk about color matching, okay? It's one thing to blend the inks and get it all right, but this is the fundamental stuff. We need to be able to understand the ratios, be able to understand what we're doing every time we mix, and be able to make the calculations along the way, and track our formulas as we're making adjustments. That is the fundamental base. On top of that, then we can get into the specifics of color matching, and there's uh, conversations that take place in that kind of uh, thing, uh, and, uh, and there's a whole philosophy and uh, documentary process and different ways of measuring and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to go into that, but I'm going to take a little bit of break from color and ink blending and all this stuff, because there's some other things that I want to do on Ugly Flexo, and uh, this is taking a good bit of time. So at some point, I'm going to uh, come back uh, to this and uh, the blending part of the ink stuff, and we're going to develop um, Excel spreadsheets that do all this for us if we just put in the stuff. Very cool. I'm going to show you how to do that, all right? And if you really want it in advance and you're hot for it, uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and email me at frankb at flexoexchange.com or post a request on our bulletin board at uh, flexoexchange slash forum, flexoexchange.com slash forum, and um, I'll send you some tools and stuff like that. But I like to, do, to dish it out as I teach it so that uh, we get it all done at one time. So thanks for your time, and uh, now we have to do other things on Ugly Flexo.